Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's look at an example of saying that we're on a different planet or something, and we want to know what the acceleration of gravity is on that particular planet. We know that we're 10 feet, we're on a cliff or something 10 feet above the ground here, and we initially throw an object at 10 meters per second upward, going straight up. And then it comes straight down, but it hits kind of down here. Um, 10 feet below, and it hits that point at t equals 10 seconds. Knowing this information, can we actually compute what the acceleration of gravity is? We're going to use um, antiderivative magic to help. First, let's suppose we have our acceleration function for gravity, and supposing negligible air resistance, the acceleration of gravity here was, is a constant value. Um, suppose that it's um, just k, all right, whatever it is, um, just label as k. Let's figure out what this value k is. The velocity is going to be the antiderivative of this constant, kt, but some plus, plus some c here, value. Now, we know something about velocity. We know that at t equals zero seconds, that the output is 10 because we're starting initially at 10. So that tells us that C in particular has to be 10 because K times zero is zero here. So we actually know our velocity function to be KT plus 10. All right, now let's move to, <clears throat> now we also know that um, after 10 seconds um, that we've hit the ground right here. Um, well, actually, uh, let's see. Yes, at, at 10 seconds, we've, we've uh, hit this position when we're 10 feet below. Hmm. So that happens. Okay, so that's really information about position, right? So let's come up with what the position function is. Antiderivative of this. So we get uh, kt squared over 2 plus 10t plus some constant c. But we know that the position at 0 is actually at 10, which actually automatically tells us that throwing 0 in here, we notice that the output has to be 10, c must be 10. So the position function is kt squared over 2 plus 10t plus 10. Now, what is the acceleration of gravity? Well, let's see. I think we have something to help us. We know that at t equals 10 seconds, that the position will be at zero now. So we have zero is equal to k times um, 10 squared, which is times 100, over 2, plus 10 times 10, plus 10. All right, so we know that much, all right? This enables us, to, enables us to solve for k. In particular, we have 50k plus 110 is equal to 0. So we know that k is equal to negative 110 over 50, which is negative 11 fifths. So it looks like the acceleration of, gra the acceleration of gravity is negative 11 fifths meters per second per second, sometimes we abbreviate it that way, per second squared, would be the acceleration. So every second, the velocity is going down by 11 over 5 meters per second. Thanks for watching.